Hey there, what's going on? It's Lisa here, Happy Foods. How you doing? It's uh, dinner time, so I just thought I'd take you along and show you what it is that I'm making. Um, tonight we're having something special. We're having um, a broccoli pasta alfredo. It's going to be kind of like a one pot dish and it's going to be really, really tasty and a much healthier version than traditional alfredo. So let me tell you what I got. So um, you can't see it, but I got a pot over here with some boiling water, and that's going to be for um, the pasta. So I've got one box of, uh, I'm using gluten-free pasta here, but you can use any pasta you want. doesn't matter. The gluten-free pasta, uh, this one's only 12 ounces, not quite a full 16. They always, they always jip you when you get specialty stuff. Why is that? And they charge you more, <laughs> but that's why you got to get them on sale. So I got one box of pasta, whatever you want. That's going to go in the boiling water, which I'm going to do right now, um, and get that going. And I've got a pan right here on kind of medium, uh, medium high heat that is going to um, that I use for the sauce. So while this is cooking, I'm going to set my timer here. Let's do. I'm going to set it for eight minutes, a little shy, because. After eight minutes of that cooking, the pasta cooking, I'm going to add in, right in the last minute, maybe the last minute or two that the pasta needs to cook, I'm going to add in a big old bowl of some broccoli, probably about four cups of some broccoli florets. And I just kind of cut them in smaller bite-sized pieces so they'll mix up really nicely in the sauce and everybody will get a nice bite. So um, i got some small broccoli florets that I'll add to the boiling water and then basically when the, that's done, I'm just going to strain it and, um, and then I'll have that to add to this pot, which I'm going to make the sauce and then I'm going to toss everything together. So for the sauce, what I got here is I'm just using a pan that's large enough that it's going to fit everything when it's done. Um, so if you're just making this for two people, you can downsize it, but um, we're making the whole, whole box. So I've got two cups of milk, any kind of milk you want to use. It's just some almond milk here. And I'm adding that to the pot. Then I'm adding a couple cloves of chopped up garlic to so give it a nice flavor. I'm going to cook the um, garlic right in the milk as it's heating up. And that's just going to soften it and, um, and cook it without burning it or anything like that. So I'm just going to make a kind of like a garlic infused uh, milk. Isn't that going to be good? So I want to let this come up to um, kind of a, a nice simmer. And I'm going to let it simmer for just like maybe a couple minutes or so just to get that garlic going and just get it nice and hot. And um, I'll check back with you and let you know uh, what else I'm adding to the pot. Okay. Timer's going off from the pasta. So now I am going to add the broccoli florets. And I'm going to set this timer for another two minutes because it's going to take another minute or something just to heat, get the water back up to temperature by adding all that broccoli and basically it'll cook for about a minute. So that's, so the broccoli is in with the pasta right now and uh, as you can see on the stove I've got the milk and the garlic. If you can smell this, oh my god, saute garlic or just garlic in general just smells so good. So this is nice and hot, and it's been cooking for a couple of minutes just to get that garlic soft and bring out the flavor. And to this, I'm going to add in, I've got uh, roughly about a half a cup of nutritional yeast. This is all I had. Um, but basically, nutritional yeast uh, is going to thicken it because you need some kind of thickener for the sauce to make it creamy and uh, rich and thick like an Alfredo. Um, and this is also, you need some kind of cheese usually for Alfredo. So this is going to do both. This is going to thicken the sauce and this is going to add a cheesy flavor. Not to mention, it's very, very good for you. So, and you can find this in the bulk section of like a health food store. I got this at Whole Foods in the bulk section. And surprising enough, it's not really that expensive. It really isn't. So, add in the nutritional yeast. And I'm going to turn my heat up just a tad and let this kind of thicken up a little bit. 
And I'm also going to add in my last ingredient, besides salt and pepper, is going to be a little bit of pesto. I um, made this pesto. I had grown a bunch of basil last year, and it just went crazy. I mean, huge. I had to cut it back. Uh, what am I going to do with all this basil? Like, So I just made so much pesto, and I still have so much pesto in my freezer. So I put them in little baggies, and sometimes I just need a little bit, so I cut the baggie in half. That's my timer. i us turn my pasta and broccoli and strain that here in a minute. And, um, yeah, so I've got a little pesto. If you don't have pesto, you don't have to add it, but pesto is really flavorful. You can make your own, or you can um, buy it, whatever brain you like. Um, and I'm going to add that in for a nice flavor, nice color. It freezes, pesto freezes really, really well, guys. Um, so if you bought like a container from the store and you did, you just needed a little spoonful or something and you didn't know what to do with it, just uh, just freeze it. Put in some ice cube trays and just freeze it. And, um, and then you have it for if you want to make a sandwich, it makes a great spread. Um, or, you know, a cold pasta salad or a hot pasta or... Uh, so many uses for pesto. So look at that. Doesn't that look good? Yummy. So I'm going to go strain the pasta and the broccoli. And we'll, we'll add it in here in a second. Alright. Look at that beautiful color on the broccoli. You don't want to overcook broccoli. You want it to have that nice color and still look fresh and alive. Um, don't cook it to death. So basically I'm just adding this, the pasta and the broccoli, to my sauce in this pan. I just turned the pan... It's just on low, low heat. And this gluten-free pasta, it tastes really, really good, this brand, this Rosini. Um, but I noticed it um, kind of falls apart a little bit when I toss it. It just ends up being like little pieces. Now I know this is going to need some salt and some pepper because uh, the pasta doesn't have any salt, the broccoli, the seasoning. And it's a good bowl of pasta here. So... Season to taste, a little salt, a little pepper, and uh, that is all she wrote. I'm going to toss all this up, and uh, I'll catch you at the dinner table. We'll give it a taste. We'll see what the kids think, too. One little thing before uh, we get to the table. So I put a, I seasoned with salt and pepper. It took a good amount of salt, actually, and uh, it tastes really, really good. Very, very simple. I plated some up for the kids. They're going to like it this way. But I thought for Jen and I, I wanted something like a little zip or something. Um, so I thought maybe some lemon would be good. This is where I like to add a, a lemon zest. I tell you guys, save the, the lemon zest. It's such a great flavor enhancer. So I'm actually, for ours, putting in a good amount of some fresh lemon zest. And a little wedge of fresh lemon juice too. That's just going to make it nice and bright and... Um, really make the flavors pop. So just a little bit of lemon juice and some of the lemon zest. And then, um, wait, my hands off, uh, a little bit of hot sauce. We like it a little spicy. So this is for Jen and I. I'm going to mix this up. And uh, I see at the table. just want to share that with you. Holy crap. That is awesome with the lemon. You want to make it with the lemon, guys. Put the zest of an entire lemon in there and throw in the juice of about, um, probably about a half a lemon if you were to do the whole pot. And a little hot sauce if you like it. That lemon kicks it up a couple of notches. That's awesome. It's really, really good. Hey, babe. It's good? All right. Cool, cool. All right, well, we'll see what mom thinks, too. Here's what the plate looks like. It is so good with that little added lemon zest and lemon juice. And the hot sauce, oh my god. I can eat like three bowls of this, so. I'm gonna enjoy this. Just uh, try it. She loves to be filled with you? eating. <laughs> <laughs> how was it? You didn't try it when I added the, the lemon, huh? No, I'm trying it now with the lemon. And it's, it just tastes so good. It's good, it's so with that crap, zest. Absolutely. Yeah, it makes a nice little pop. A little chaotic at the dinner table, so I just turned the camera off and I just wanted to real quick just reiterate what was in that pasta. It was really, really good. <laughs> um, so basically, I did a 
12 ounce box or you can do a 16 ounce box of pasta. Cook that up uh, about th uh, about eight minutes or so. And then the last like two minutes, I added in about four cups of broccoli. Cooked that all together, strained it, and I added it to my sauce. The sauce I made while the pasta was cooking, and that was uh, two cups of milk with about a tablespoon or two of some chopped garlic. Cooked that for about four or five minutes uh, on a nice simmer just to cook the garlic down. You could saute it ahead of time if you wanted to. And then add your milk. Actually, that might be better. And, uh, and then I um, added in a half a cup of nutritional yeast. I added about uh, three tablespoons of pesto and whisked that all together. Seasoned it with some uh, salt and pepper. And uh, then I added in my uh, drained pasta and broccoli, tossed it with the sauce. And then I finished it with um, the zest of an entire lemon and the juice of a half a lemon. And then some hot sauce if you like, a little spicy. And man, that lemon really kicked it up a notch. It was really nice. Nice, healthy dish. Filling, satisfying, very flavorful. So give it a try. Um, thanks so much for watching. Remember, always eat happy foods. If you like videos like this, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao. Make sure to stick around for tomorrow because I'll have my grocery haul video up. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care.